Hi, welcome back to Sherry's Crocheted Happiness. I was talking in my last video about how I was crocheting the Jackie Robinson doll out of the Crochet Little Heroes book. And I am just finishing up my second leg here. I've got one more round to go and then I'm going to start <laughs> stuffing it. Okay, so I'm just going to go around here. It gets a little easier as the leg gets a little longer. I'm not fighting so much against the other leg. All right, almost done here. Get this other couple stitches done here. And there we go. One more, one more round to go. Looks pretty even. All right, so I talked about how I have these sticks over here and these balls to help for stuffing. So I have this opening. I'm going to make my string a little long so that I don't accidentally pull out some stitches. And I'm going to use my stuffing tool to get that stuffing in there and get it packed in there nice and tight. Just keep stuffing it down in there. Uh, little increments seem to work the best. If you try to do too much at one time, it just gets lumpy in there. Don't be afraid to pull it out and re retry to restuff it in there if it doesn't feel right. All right, so let's try one of these guys here. See if we can get that down in there better. There we go. And I'm just going to pack it nice and tight in there. Let's try some more here. Get it in there. There we go. And you can feel when you're getting that stuffing in there, and you can feel if it's nice and full. Um, if it starts pushing your stitches, then you've got too much in there. There's a fine balance here. I can feel that leg getting just as nice and full as the other one. Keep going here. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Keep stuffing. All right, almost done. Okay, one more round. This last round is just decreasing um, all the way around. Kind of get that stuffing down in there. If you remember, decrease is your yarn on your hook. You go through one hook, one stitch rather, pick up some yarn, go through the next stitch, pick up your yarn. So you have three on there. Pull it through all three, and then that turns those two stitches into one. We're going to do it one more time here. Okay, pull that yarn through. Cut my yarn, and then I can feel that my foot needs just a tiny bit more yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to stuff it in there. Okay. 
And then I take my needle, pick up my tail here, and then I'm just going to slip stitch around, get my little fuzz pieces in there, slip stitch this closed. Okay, and then I'm going to stick it through, and I kind of pull it up down here and you can do it however works best for you I like to put a little stitch in there and then just tuck my string back up under there okay you can tuck in the rest of your string into your project or you can cut it off whichever works best for you and there is One leg, this leg looks slightly larger than this leg, but I think in the long run of the project, I think it's going to be just fine. Because he's going to have pants on and you're not going to really see that his legs are, are a little bit off. Okay, put his arms on next. Alright, thanks for checking back in.